now for the same problem we have solved for the design of gauges for go and no go gauge for hole for the same problem we will solve it for the uh, shaft now step one is same step one is same oh, yeah, i is also i value is also same d value is also same and the, from the uh, changes is only from the step two so step two there in the figure uh, fundamental deviation for hole is equal to h is equal to zero here he has given in the question in the problem he has given the fundamental value so fundamental value of the shaft is equal to how much he has given minus 16 due to the power of 0 0.44 from that step we have to start from the step 2 to calculate the fundamental deviation for shaft so f is equal to he has given minus 16 d to the power of 0 0.44 so minus 16 d has a mean diameter 38.7298 to the power of 0.44 the value is equal to minus 0 0.07995 mm initially it, it will come in terms of minus 79.9576 microns so again it is divided by to convert that microns from mm and divided by 1000 again you will get a fundamental f is equal to minus 0 0.0 now step 3 to calculate the upper limit and the lower limit to calculate the upper limit and the lower limit for the shaft upper limit is equal to what for the shaft after upper limit is equal to basic size plus fundamental deviation so basic size is equal to 40 fundamental deviation plus of what minus 0 0.07995 the value is equal to 39.9200 m so this is what the upper limit for the shaft now we have to calculate the standard tolerance value grade value has given in the problem has given the grade value it 8 is equal to what 25 i same like that of we have to do it for the shaft also <coughs> So standard tolerance standard tolerance for shaft standard tolerance for shaft that is equal to in the problem as he has mentioned problem h8 d8 d9 of fit so d9 of uh, fit is not d9 represent what it9 it9 is equal to what 40 into i standard tolerance grade it9 is equal to in the problem as given for whole h for 9 89 is equal to 40 into i so in the 40 into i what into i value i is equal to in the previous step you have find out in the same, that is the same for what i is same for both for both uh, hole and the shaft so 40 into 0 0.001561 so this is in terms of mm you will get so this is what a standard tolerance now we have to calculate the lower limit lower limit is equal to upper limit minus of standard tolerance so upper limit is equal to 39.9200 minus of that uh, standard tolerance value you will get in terms of mm that is around 39.8809 mm you will get this is also around you will get 0 0.039025 mm so standard tolerance is equal to that one 
so now in the step 4 step 4 we can calculate the work tolerance to calculate the work tolerance and the gauge tolerance so work tolerance is equal to upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is how much 38 39.9200 minus lower limit 39.8809 you will get 0 0.0319 mm so gauge tolerance is equal to 10 percent of the work tolerance procedure is same but the values will get fundamental deviation if the fundamental valuation deviation value is changes all the values goes on changing but here the first we have to calculate the lower upper limit and and then we have to calculate the lower limit that's it that's the difference <coughs> 0 0.1 into 0 0.0391 that is equal to 0 0.00391 mm in the step 5 to calculate the wear allowance that is equal to wear allowance is equal to 10 10% uh, of the gauge tolerance that is 0.1 into gt so 0.1 into gt value how much 0 0.00391 that is you will get 0 0.00391 mm you will get the wear lens so now in the step 6 to calculate the dimension of what go no go gauge this is very important dimension of what go and no go gauge for shaft for uh, for hole <coughs> bottom will be the go gauge and upper limit will be the no go gauge and for the shaft it is vice versa upper limit will be the go gauge and lower limit will be the no go gauge so dimension of go gauge for the go gauge dimension upper limit minus of wear allowance that is equal to 39.9200 minus of 0 0.00391 you will get a value of what 39.9196 9196 mm that is for go gauge and for no go gauge lower limit is equal to the value lower mid limit will be the value i would have shown in the figure i will explain the third part what is the go and no go gauge once again i will show it show the same figure see for the shaft upper limit will be the go gauge and lower limit will be the no go gauge and no go gauge value is what lower limit will be the no go gauge and now go upper uh, upper limit is a go gauge value is what upper limit minus of what wear allowance same thing same design we have to draw it so for the work, uh, hole also we have drawn the same uh, the, this one <coughs> same uh, uh, representation uh, we, are, we are shown the representation same like that we have to shown it for the shaft that's it now now we have to design the go no go gauge for the shaft no go gauge for the shaft so in the step 7 so design of what so design the go and no go gauge for shaft so size for go gauge for go gauge size is of how much 39.9196 mm size tolerance is equal to 0. Point double zero three nine one mm therefore we have to show the limits for go gauge that is thirty nine point nine one nine six plus that is upper limit is zero and uh, lower limit will be the three nine one mm this is the representation of limit gauge for go gauge limits for go gauge and for no go gauge and for no go gauge 
द साइज इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नईन पॉइंट डबल एट जीरो नईन एम एम एंड द टॉलर जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो थ्री नईन वन एम एम सो दे फोर वेट टू रिप्रेजेंट लिमिट्स फॉर नो गो गेज दट इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नईन पॉइंट डबल एट जीरो नईन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो थ्री नईन वन मैनस जीरो पॉइंट ट्रिपल जीरो एम एम सो ना नो वे टू शो द रिप्रजेशन अगेन वी हव टू ड्रा वन अपर लिमिट लाइन एंड लोयर लिमिट दिस इज अपर लिमिट इज ईक्वल टू वाट थर्टी नईन पॉइंट नईन टू एम एम एंड लोयर लिमिट इज ईक्वल टू थर्टी नईन पॉइंट डबल एट जीरो नईन एम एम एंड द वर्क टॉलर इज ईक्वल टू वाट अपर लिमिट मैनस लोयर लिमिट दट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री नईन वन एम एम वी हट कैलकुलेट नो वे टू शो द गो एंड नो गोगेज सो हियर फॉर हो फॉर शैफ्ट गो गेज विल बी इन द अपर लिमिट एंड नो गो गेज इन द लोअर लिमिट सो लोअर लिमिट विल बी द लोअर लिमिट वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट डबल जीरो थ्री नईन वन वर्क अलोन सो इन दियर अलोन यू हव टू शो द डिफरेंस वेर अलोन एंड यू हव टू सेम फॉर द सेम शैफ्ट यू हव टू ड्रा हियर Difference is zero point double zero three nine one mm. That is up for the gauge tolerance. So the difference is what wear allowance. So this is the representation for what <coughs> no go gauge and the go gauge for the shaft. So that's all the complete of the model number two. So this is the problem related related to the design of the gauge for uh, go type go and no go gauge type. Okay, this is the compulsory problem for the examination. Just go through the procedure and solve by your own. Just I will share you the assignment questions today, and uh, uh, you submit the assignment while solving the while writing the assignment. You come to know clearly how to design the gauges. Okay, thank you.